after a hard day's work. Dito mo matatapon pa. San lagok ng Budweiser? Kung gusto mo San Miguel, pwede rin. Ewan ko, pwede Red Horse dito. Pareho lang natin. Tansya ng Red Horse, ano? Pareho lang. So, after a hard day's work, isang bote ng beer, kasama na yung pambukas nyo sa track. Pagbayad nyo ng 3.4 million, may kasamang battle opener yan, guys. Napakasulit talaga. Wala akong kasamang unano to na bubuhatin kayo paakyat sa track. Okay. <laughs> hindi, hindi you you're the step assist. This is what you call the step assist. Kayang-kaya. I'm 270 pounds. Kayang-kaya niya. Kasi yung mga kano, kayang-kaya din niya eh. Ang lakas eh, Dan, no? Ha? Naman yun mo ba ito? Hindi. Ngayon pa lang? Ayaw, pare. Grabe. Dito mo, Ed. Lahat ng video natin, one take. Wala, wala tanong sa kanya. Wala na yung i-edit yan halos eh. Alright everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is King Panda for Luxury Cars Manila. And today we have the king, the king of the pickup trucks. The king of the diesel pickup trucks here in the Philippines. Alam nyo guys, dito sa Pilipinas, here in the Philippines. So I have to double take, ano, kasi we have, we have foreign viewers and we also have Filipino viewers. And the Filipino viewers get upset if I keep speaking English. Yung mga foreign viewers naman, naiinis pag nagtatagalog ako. Kita mo, binaliktad ko. But anyway, this is the 2021 Ford F-150 truck. Now, wala ho siyang pinagkaiba sa mga imported na trucks because, lo and behold, it's made in Detroit. Okay, all these trucks are made in Detroit. So, ang difference lang, nang ino-offer dito ng mga dealers sa Pilipinas is now they're offering the diesel engine. This is a 3-liter V6 power stroke turbo diesel engine. It has 250 horsepower and 440 foot-pounds of torque. Okay? Now, we can talk about towing capacity, payload capacity, But guys, we know for a fact that somebody who's paying 3.398 million for a truck like this, hindi kakargahan ng graba yan. <laughs> hindi kakargahan ng buhangin yan. At hindi nyo ipangtoto ng heavy equipment yan. So the most you're gonna tow with this truck is either a jet ski, a boat, or a motorcycle in the back of a truck, which any truck can handle anyway. So let's not even talk about payload capacity kasi meron mga magtatanong yan eh. Huwag na natin itanong, guys, hindi nyo kakargahan to sa 3.4 million pesos. Maniwala kayo. So, this is the king of all the diesel trucks. We have so many options here in the Philippines. We have the Strada. We have the Ford Ranger, Nissan Navara. But, ito yung pinakamalaki. And it's actually the only truck in its size 
that's offered locally by dealers. That's a diesel engine. Si mahilig talaga tayo sa diesel eh. Kasi mas mura ang diesel. And I will go over the features later on. Bakit mas matipid pa ito kesa sa ibang mga diesel. Okay, so let's go around the exterior of the car. It's got the signature wide mouth grill. Parang kakainin kayo, di ba? LED headlamps, the C-pillar design, which is from a kilometer away. Para kayong kakainin pagpalapit sa inyo. LED fog lamps. Integrated park distance control. No? Ang tapang ng side niya. Has the F-150 badging with the Lariat trim. Now, there's different types of trim sa... F-150, you know, there's the XLT, which is the base model. You have the Lariat, which is the mid-range model. You have the King Ranch, and you have the Platinum. Here in the Philippines, they're only offering the Lariat, okay? Also has the Power Stroke Turbo Diesel Badging. That's how you can distinguish that this F-150 is actually diesel, okay? It has 275, 60, 20 Hankook tires. Hankook. American, pero Hankook. You know, little side tri little uh, side note, guys. Every year, tire companies bid on contracts with manufacturers to supply them with tires. So you will see some years na BF Kudrichan, you will see some years na Sumitomo, you will see some years na Hankook or other, other tire brands, you know, it's a Michelin or Pirelli or whatever, okay? So this has factory 20-inch wheels. Blacked out na siya. Wala na kayong gagawin. The white exterior with the black wheels just pops out. It gives it that really macho look, especially with the black trim. Wala na kayong kailangan gawin pa, di ba? So going around, you have your typical combination lock, which in my 47 years of existence, I've never used because you know why? Mas nakakalimutan ko yung kombinasyon niyan kesa sa susi. Ang susi, hindi pa ako nawalan eh. Pero yung kombinasyon ng mga bagay-bagay, minsan pati sa cellphone ko nakakalimutan ko. So I never even use it. So eh, kung sino pa mag-ambisyon na gagamit nito, Wag na. Dali nyo na lang yung susi, guys. So, let's go around here in the back. Has a Sport 4x4 uh, badging. It has this amazing tailgate with integrated park distance control in the back. Yung tititititit, yung ganon. Grabe, ang ingay nito. You have your rear camera integrated on the handle of the tailgate, and at night, umiilaw siya. So in low light situations, bawa you're backing up somewhere na medyo madilim, ano? Hindi na kayo kailangan na ganun-ganun sa napakalaking screen nito. Okay? Kala ko hindi bubukas. It has automatic tailgate controls. Hindi ko lang alam kung automatic din yung pagbukas niya. Pagsara. Tingnan natin. Hindi. Ibig sabihin, King Panda, ikaw ang magtaas. So, anyway, one of the great features of this truck is, sa Amerika, work truck ito. Contractors use this truck when they go out to the job site. Kinakargahan ng kahoy yan. So, if you notice, Merong inches and feet na graduations pag nagsusukat sila ng kahoy. No? Lalagyan ng ballpen, lalagyan ng drink nila ito para hindi gumalaw. Tsaka ang pinaka-importante lahat, after a hard day's work, pagod na pagod ka na. Hindi mo na alam sa sobrang init ng araw, kailangan mo magpahinga. Sasabihin ng iba, Boss, bakit Budweiser ang dala mo, hindi San Miguel? American truck to eh. 
Hindi naman local na truck. So, kailangan Budweiser. American beer. Papakita ko sa inyo gano'ng kagaling ang nakaisip ng truck na to. After a hard day's work, kita mo matatapon pa. San lagok ng Budweiser? Kung gusto mo, San Miguel, pwede rin. Ewan ko, pwede Red Horse dito. Pareho lang natin. Tansya ng Red Horse. Ano? Pareho lang. So, a hard day's work. Isang bote ng beer. Kasama na yung pambukas nyo sa truck. Pagbayad nyo ng 3.4 million, may kasamang battle opener yan, guys. Napakasulit talaga. Oh. Okay, guys. Besides the pambukas ng bote ng beer, Thing. Another great feature of this truck is the step assist. Ano yung step assist? Wala hong kasamang unano to na bubuhatin kayo paakyat sa truck. Okay. <laughs> hindi, hindi yun na step assist. This is what you call the step assist. Okay. So, alam nyo naman tayo mga Pinoy, hindi naman ganun kahaba paa natin. So, sa mga kapareho ko na maikli ang paa at mahaba yung katawan. Ito, malaking tulong sa pag-akyat. Kayang-kaya. I'm 270 pounds. Kayang-kaya niya. Kasi yung mga kano, kayang-kaya din niya. So, maglo-load kayo. Nakaakyat na kayo. Ngayon, pag bababa naman kayo, Tapos na kayo mag-load. Mabahan nyo lang to. Pasok nyo to. Balik nyo yan. Sarado nyo to. You're done. It already has integrated LED lights. Pakagaling nito eh. Ang bawa, gabi, naglo-load kayo ng mga bagay-bagay at madilim. Alam mo naman dito sa Pilipinas, mga tao may ilig sa madilim. Hindi ko alam kung bakit. Siguro mahal ang kuryente. Kaya, merong ilaw. Pag sa barangay nyo, walang ilaw, gusto nyo mag-inuman, pwede rin dito. Kaya nga may battle opener eh. ba? Diba? So anyway, yan ang LED lights. You know? Meron pa siyang kasamang saksakan, up to 400 watts. Kaya lang 110. Yung mga magre-reklamo, bakit 110? Sa Amerika kasi, walang 220. Bumili kayo ng inverter. Pag binili niyo tong truck na to na armored, ririgaluhan ko kayo ng inverter. Okay? Kasama na yun, guys. Meron na rin sa likod. Meron na rin siyang trailer hitch hook, brake control uh, hookup. Ah, ito, hindi ko, hindi ko alam ano yan. Huwag nyo na galawin. Hindi rin natin alam eh. Kanina ko pa dala-dala itong beer na ito, pari. Mamaya, ma ma maubos natin. So, you guys will notice, ano? Dalawa, ang dumihan. Dalawa ang tanki niya, okay? This is for your diesel. Okay, diesel ha? Diesel, guys. Total, mahilig kayo sa diesel. Diesel yan. Tsaka may DEF fluid. Now, what is DEF fluid? Hindi siya ABC. DEF siya. Ano ang DEF fluid? Kulay blue siya na liquid na nilalagay nyo rito kasi ang diesel is very toxic. It's very toxic to the environment. So, the chemical companies have figured out a way to reduce carbon emissions from diesel fuel burning. So, they use, I think it's partly ammonia-based. So, ilalagay nyo rito. Saan nyo mabibili yan? Tawagan nyo si King Panda. Bibentahan ko kayo. DEF fluid. Actually, hindi. Sa mga gas station nata, meron ito. But right now, mostly specialty shops ang meron ito. It's called the DEF liquid, no? Let's look at the front. Power assist. 
kahit anong gawin natin, guys, diesel talaga to. <laughs> hindi, hindi mo mapagkakaila. 3 liter V6 na 240, 250 horsepower with 450 or 440 foot-pounds of torque. Your air intake, your battery, computer box, air box, everything is neatly presented in one big package. Okay. Sasabihin ng mga tao, paano naman yan, King Panda? Eh, 250 horsepower, eh, ang laki-laki ng truck. Hindi na naman mapakatakbo yan. Ayan yung mga engineer na mga, yung mga viewers natin, guys, na engineer na hindi naman nag-aral ng engineering. So, nasabihin nila yan. Kaya ang pinakamagandang ginagawa natin dito sa show natin, here on Luxury Cars Manila, dinadrive natin yung sasakyan at papakita natin kung ano ang capability. Okay? We test drive it based on how I feel that people will be driving this truck. Like I said, it's a 3.4 million peso truck. It's not a truck na kakaragahan ng mga tao. Okay? So, let's take a test drive. Alright guys, as promised, we are inside the Ford F-150 diesel. Na marami nagtataka, may diesel ba talaga? Dati gusto diesel, tapos ngayon may diesel, ayaw maniwala. Diba? This is a diesel truck. 3 liter V6 turbo diesel na power stroke Ford engine. Now it has a massive, massive 15 inch monitor screen na tingin ko yung mga anak nyo pwede gumawa ng homework dito. No? Tapos, ito nakakatawa dyan, itong hindi ko talaga makuha kung bakit bumababa yan. Diba? Sabi nila, ito daw, merong option na yung center console natutupi so you can make it into a workstation. Eh, kanina sinusubukan ko, mukhang matatanggal ko ito eh. So, Every time na meron akong ginalaw, natatanggal yung buong dashboard. So anyway, hindi ko na ginalaw. Uh, so here, hindi ko alam kung anong ginagawa ng tao dito. May nag-comment na isang follower natin kasi sa mahal daw ng truck na to, wala na siyang pang-check-in sa Sogo. So dito na lang niya ginagawa. Hindi ko po alam kung anong ginagawa niya. But anyway, yun ang sabi niya. Papakita natin sa screen yan. So anyway has a massive 15.1 inch screen and like I mentioned kanina one of the amazing features of this truck is the active start stop now diesel na siya so matipid na siya sa fuel no? at the same time it has this option now when you're sitting in traffic the engine actually stops it, it, it dies and as soon as you press the accelerator the engine starts back again in a split second naman. So what does that do? It ensures na hindi kumakain ng gasolina or in this case, ng diesel yung sasakyan habang nakatigil ka and we know for a fact na pag traffic, malakas kumain ng diesel. Pero yung aircon nyo, maandar pa naman and yung radio nyo. So kung nanonood kayo ng, ano, kung si Vice Ganda or whatever, eh, pwede nyo pang panoorin. So it's the basic F-150 setup. You have your trailer hitch control. You have all your ergonomic features here. You have your you have your cruise control distance uh, setting the distance for your cruise control. Pwede yung habaan, pwede yung layuan, pwede yung uh, lapitan, ano? Yung difference nyo between the other car. You have here your other lane control. You have your uh, lane departure assist as well. Now, what does lane departure assist uh, do? Is pag inaantok kayo or lumilihis kayo, which is ginagawa lagi ng mga Pinoy, so hindi ko alam kung anong gagawin dito, no? Kasi mahilig tayo lumihis sa lane. Eh, kaya nga may lane, para dun ka lang sa lane. Pero dito sa EDSA, makita mo, lahat wala sa lane. So, hindi ko alam pa paano gagawin ng Ford yun. But anyway, problema nila yun. You can turn it off para hindi kayo kukulitin. So, patayin nyo na lang yung lane assist kung mahilig kayong kumaliwa or kumanan sa lane. Okay? So, ito. We're off. Ayan. Kita nyo. Ang tulin eh. Ang lakas. So, this is 250 horsepower. Sandali lang po siya. 
medyo pang-Amerikano talaga, pare. Ang layo ko eh. Alright, yan. Happy na ako. Okay. So, for for Philippine roads, medyo malaki siya. So, ang ini-envision ko to na bibili ng mga ganitong sasakyan is mga taga-probinsya. You know, Batangas, Sambuanga, uh, Mindanao area, Cebu. Well, Cebu is already traffic now. No? But this is great for roads in the provinces na malalawak. You know, here in the urban jungle, medyo mahirap siya because malaki. But here. It's, wow. For a diesel truck, guys, this truck is extremely responsive. Halos walang lag. And what's surprising about this 3-liter power stroke is sanay ako sa mga 6.2-liter na power stroke, especially dun sa F650, no? Ng Ford. Whenever you start it, para ka talagang nagmamaneho ng truck because truck, 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 siya eh. But this actually is extremely quiet, ha? For a big truck. Well, dito sa Pilipinas, it's considered a big truck na. But, ayan, no? You hear it? Namatay, di ba? So, the engine actually dies Ayan, no? ang galing niya. It, it dies. You know, huwag kayong matakot. Hindi pumalpak ang Ford. Hindi niyo ho kailangan tawagan yung dealer niyo. Hindi niyo kailangan murahin yung ahente niyo na tumigil yung truck. Hindi. Pag nasa traffic kayo, the engine actually stops. And we're going. Mga stoplight dito sa Pilipinas, guys, talaga may delay. Tagal talaga. But, o English yun natin. Tapos, ayun, no? umandar na naman siya. Para siyang may timer o parang may activity o siguro narinig niya sinabi ko na mabagal yung stoplight kaya umandar na lang siya. Baka pati siya masermon. So, there we go. Okay. So, take this around. Sana walang traffic sa Ortigas. May traffic ba kanina, Ed? Wala. Wow. Wow. Very responsive, very powerful V6. For as big as this truck is, wag ko kayo matakot. Especially pag in-armor namin to. This truck is gonna perform really well. Ang ganda ng, uh, ang ganda ng hatak niya. And I actually think na it will be well suited for armoring. Medyo. Ganda ng response, oh. Steering is very, very tight. It doesn't feel like a truck at all. Actually, it feels like a Euro sedan. You know, the braking is on point. Turning radius. lakas eh, dano? Ha? Naman ayaw mo ba ito? Hindi. Ngayon pa lang? Ayaw, pare. Grabe. Pare, gwapo ka rito eh. Wala sa basketball player. Pare. Ganda. Tsaka nakapano roof. Which is, aarmorin natin. Papatayin naman natin yan. Guys, another great feature about this truck is is panoramic roof. It's actually pretty long. Hanggang dulo. Huwag kayong mag-alala kung nakagluta kayo, hindi naman kayo mabibilad sa araw kasi meron naman sunscreen yan. So, hindi kayo iitin. Huwag kayong mag-alala. Yeah, no? It starts and stops. The engine actually, it's very instantaneous siya eh. And the steering, I, I can't, I can't believe this is a Ford. The steering is very tight. 
this is the reason why this truck is the top selling uh, full size truck in the US. No? Favorite ito ng mga contractors, ng mga business people, especially in Texas. In Texas, dalawa lang naman. Eh. It's either naka Ford ka or naka Chevy ka. Or naka Ram ka. Hindi na raw dadyan tawag doon. Ram. Kasi may mga followers tayo na galit. Huwag daw tatawagin na dodge yung RAM. Kasi hindi raw, ram, hindi raw dodge yun. Sabi ko, pareho naman factory. Galing. Ang galing, ang galing, pare. First time tayo nag-video na suot ko yung wag kang ask all t-shirt, no? Ayos yan. Ha, 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 Oh, I'll show it to you. Oh, that's it. Lingo, man. Look at the traffic. No? It's foggy, right? And it's comfortable. It's very comfortable. Okay, so now, tapos na tayo mag-test sa highway. Tetest naman natin sa humps. Pasado. You know, here sa village namin, guys, I think yung gumawa ng mga humps na to is galit sa kotse. Kasi <laughs> ang tataas. Para kang, para kang dumaan sa bulkang mayon. Kaya, kung gusto niya mag-testing ng suspension ng sasakyan, Sabihan niyo lang ako, dito sa village natin, ang pinakamagandang hams na pang-testing yan. So, anyway guys, that that pretty much wraps up our, uh, you know, besides all these features na you guys will get to see when you actually purchase a vehicle from us. But, uh, tsaka ako na explain But, that pretty much wraps up our, oh, by the way, nakabangin Olufsen sound system na to ah which is usually not available on the Lariat trim. Uh, optional yan. So I guess when Ford Philippines ordered these vehicles, they ordered it na medyo sagad na with a Bang & Olufsen system. So hindi nyo na kailangan pakialam yung stereo. Too bad for the guys who do stereos, pero maganda na yung stereo po nito. Um, meron ho tayong dalawang glove compartment dyan. You know, mahilig kayo maglagay ng mga chichiria. Ito pwede dito. You know. uh, so, anyway, uh, that pretty much wraps up our review of this F-150 diesel. Now, what is my take on this truck? My take on this truck is, ang bibili po nito, hindi gagamitin na pang karga ng mga gravel or, or construction supply or hollow blocks. This is a 3.4 million peso truck. So majority of people who will buy this truck are going to use it for family use or they work in the job site or they, they work for mining industry or may farm or they just plainly want a big truck so they can you know load their motorcycles or tow their jet skis or it's basically going to be a lifestyle based truck. You know, yung iba naman ho, nagka-camping, nag-overlanding. So, this is also a great truck for that. Um, maganda na suspension. So, but for overlanding and guys who go to far-flung places, I would suggest getting it outfitted with better suspension and a higher lift para mas mataas mo ang clearance nyo. But this is an absolutely amazing truck. Uh, Ford actually did an amazing job on this truck. And I think it will sell a lot in this country. I wish that Ford Philippines would bring in more units like this. Uh, this car was acquired by our company here to have it armored. So this car will be available as an armored model in about 90 days. So if you guys have any questions, uh, you're looking for armored vehicles or you're looking for other trucks, please give us a call at 0917-463. 0077 or 0998-933-3883. This is King Panda for Luxury Cars Manila and uh, 
I hope to see you soon on the next review. Thanks, guys. All right, guys and girls, thank you very much for watching our videos. Please don't forget to subscribe here on our YouTube channel. As we give away more prizes, we will be choosing more and more winners for our giveaways from our sponsors, from everyone that comments on our videos. And please tell us how we're doing and tell us what you want to see on the comment section. We'd love to hear from you. Again, this is King Panda for Luxury Cars Manila. Don't forget to subscribe.